The next thing we want to do is the final prep of the instrument. Select the ion gauge and turn it on. Now, come over to the shutter on the MS. Close position, pull back, open position. If you can look through the window, which you really can't, but you'll be able to see the shutter. Can you go over top? You can see the probe, the shutter closing and opening the probe. This will allow material in and out of the mass spec. Okay, let's back over to the screen. Once the shutter is open, you can now turn on the mass detector. All the lights on the MS will be illuminated, meaning the machine is ready to go. Start our sample run, select single run. Now if we're doing a batch run, we would do a different type of run. In this case, we're going to just do a single run for demonstrations. Clear information from previous runs. Select our sample. Our sample name is a 60 micromolar, 60 micromolars of Naringen. Sample ID, in this instance, it's going to be the same. 60 micromolar Naringen. It's also good to date everything. So today's date is 12, 21, 10. 12, 21, 10. Method file. The method file we're going to use is a standard file. You should have um, your own method files that you develop, and all method files will be specific for your different runs. So in this instance, we're going to use a standardized method file that I developed. Now again, the method files, uh, we're going to see in different videos how you develop different method files. So for this case, we're just using one that I've already developed. Next thing we want to do is save our data. Create a new folder for every day of testing. So we're going to say testing on 12, 21, 10. Again, in your lab notebook and every sort and in other uh, areas, make sure you cite and source all your material where all your data is so that it can be found for future references. So we're going to say in here our specific data file. We're going to save it as 60 micromolars. Naringen test for demonstration. Try to be as specific as possible. Dating it. And data description. Quick say this is a test to demonstrate the LC MS. Down here you select exactly which vial and which tray you're using. So in this case, vial 1 from tray 1. Select your injection volume. 10 microliters is about a fair bit. Um, if you go below 10, the machine probably will not be able to detect it, so stick with 10. Once it's ready to go, just hit OK. Okay, the run is now commencing. It'll take about two to three minutes for the run itself to start. So now the run started. When the run when the run has commenced, you will see the LC, PDA, and MS all indicating running, meaning that the instrument is well running. The top screen will indicate the top screen indicates the PDA, what uh, is being detected through the instrument. This screen indicates the mass spec, if there's any material coming from the mass spec. Bottom left shows what ions are coming through the machine at that particular moment. And bottom right shows what the wavelength of the material coming through. It looks for the lambda max. Now you can look through this different material by right clicking and normalizing. We'll show you some spikes. So in this particular instance, it's below zero. So we're really not detecting anything. Nothing is coming Ooh. through the mass spec. But, okay, so now we've got our ion descending there. This is the Naringen coming out. 
We know that from past experiences. Your engine will lose at about six minutes, 30 seconds. We know that from the Lambda Max peak from the PDA, and we know that from the chromatograph here, we have the large ion spike at about 579 um, Daltons, which is one less than 580 because of the ionization. So we know that at this time period, at this, with this material, we know that that was our Naringen coming out through the column. When the run has completed, the LC, PDA, and MS icons will all turn green back to the ready position. So now, uh, we've done our run, or we've done our runs, we want to begin the shutdown process. Turn off the ion gate, the MS. Turn off the ion gauge. Go to the mass spec itself. Close the shutter. Come back to this main screen. Turn off your lamps, turn off your pumps, and stop the flow of the nebulizing gas. Go to the machine. Pumps are off. Remove the column. on, connecting the two lines. And cap your column. The future runs. Never do that. Bad. Remove your sample. Place the tray. Dispose of your sample's waste. We'll do this in a little bit. Go back to the machine. Shut down. Do you want to shut off the machine? Yes. Now this is important. The CDL block and the heat block need to remain on at all times. Uh, if you hit OK, the CDL and the heat block will shut off. You do not want that to happen, so uncheck these. Press OK. Machine will beep. There was the beep. It's disconnecting from the computer to the LCMS. And make sure that the heater light is still on, meaning the heater is still running. Following your work, make sure that you store your material in the research fridge in room 304 in the appropriate section. Camera into fridge. So for now, we're storing our various polyphenols in this fridge that's falling apart. Something smells like poison. It probably is. Okay. Let me store it there. This concludes our demonstration of how to take the LCMS through a run. Thanks again. We'll see you in future videos.